I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Her response will be, My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exalted lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsty for you, Lord, my God. I'm reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God in spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him, God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Unless you take up your cross daily and follow me, you are not worthy of the kingdom of heaven. Again, we hear this strong but really true words from Jesus. Brothers and sisters, cross is important sign of our lives, and especially we know what it does mean. A cross is made up of two cross pieces. It becomes a symbol of decision. You can go one way or the other. You are at the crossroads. The word crisis comes from that exact same sense. People who are suffering crucifixion are people who are anguishing over hard decisions in their lives. Jesus is 
saying, unless you make the daily decisions that make a difference, you are not worthy of me. This is the cross we must bear. It is a far harder cross than physical crucifixion. Because crucifixion is once, but our cross we have to take every day, Jesus reminds us. The cross gets even more difficult to carry when we truly know what we should do, but we lost the courage, the motivation to actually do it. It is often about turning I should into I must or I will. It becomes a burden if we don't believe in the reason or the cause that compels us to carry it. It is not that when we teach Christ to have an unreceptive audience, we are not preaching a message for him to our human nature. When in our own way, we quietly make ethical decisions, even if it costs us money, even if it means that we are not the most important consideration in the decision-making process. When we make the decision not to cheat, not to steal, not to lie, not to be unfaithful, quiet. We become witnesses to the truth in the eyes of others, the truth that is buried deep inside them. But how often is possible? This is a special sign that makes like a challenging cross to others, like every day. When we carry our cross daily, we are so many little gongs that strike a great bell. It will resonate that deepest desire for God in people, a desire which they cannot even name. Today's gospel sets before us the starkest reality of Christian faith, the cross. Jesus reminds Peter in the gospel here that this is the condition of discipleship and the only way to salvation. Our faith demands something of us, a personal commitment and a life spent in the service of the Lord. There is no easy way out. Security and complacency are not elements of Christian life. We know this. Paradox of earthly loss for heavenly gain. This involved for Peter and the disciples so radical a change in their thinking. But we remember that Peter had been given the leadership of the church, yet he had failed to completely understand the message of suffering and was revealed. The way you think is not God's way, but man's, Jesus said to him in the Gospel. True discipleship, taking up the cross, is imitation of Jesus, unleashes the power and love of God which burns in our hearts. Brothers and sisters, when I said we have to take our cross daily, but also we remember if we sometimes compare that each of us has a different cross, but we have this cross like every day, maybe simple, maybe small, but we have. Our crosses usually are heavy, sometimes unbearably so. But Jesus calls us to take up our cross and follow him. What I said at the beginning, he reminds us this truth, but some while, but permanently remind. He gives us 
His body and blood as food for His journey as we bear our sufferings and bring our imperfections to Calvary. It is much helpful if we receive this gift from Jesus. As we carry our crosses, we can rejoice in a way that the early disciples could not, because we know the story doesn't end on Calvary. We know that with Christ there is life. Furthermore, we are invited to participate in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross by uniting our sufferings to His. In offering our very selves as a living sacrifice, St. Paul says we worship God and we can be transformed, becoming more holy as we are overmore, evermore united to the will of God. Today, brothers and sisters, we offer Christ whatever sufferings we experience because of following Him and because we believe that He wants to help us. Amen. Amen. Amen.
will ask you to listen to these our prayers and petitions which we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for we are goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of bread. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for we are goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us be our bread. and comfort heart will be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice your silence be pleasing to you, Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sin we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Let us receive promise in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of the Holies. May the Holy Spirit in Jesus' praise by taking down your spirit upon them like the new folk, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and you profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one.
by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially member them and the Lord for whom we pray at this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Daughter of the Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the same time, formed by the Holy Church, we to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, to pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. From the beginning of our glory, and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us now offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. <laughs> Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Thank God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Thank God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, for him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am the Lord of the
renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a uh, reminder that you, I hope, you can write a bulletin, each door, close the door, so place you can take bulletin, because there are more information, like at first, what you can see, just thank you for our charity, uh, Catholic Charities, I know a few of them diocese, what they inform that we have uh, 182 version who we pledge, and then we make this pledge of theirs for over 35 thousand uh, and uh, if you can see this information all this time because we are beginning our PSR teaching to registration first uh, uh, student from first grade you can see this information our CIA also are beginning people who are interested about the Catholic or like more information about our teaching because the Catholic can join for this group uh, leading by Ethan J you can have this information in our bulletin also this is what not too often we use because we uh, order this from, from diocese, this group forum to consider this information. Lots of good books, movies, like related, related Catholic movies. You can consider this uh, information in the bulletin. You can take the bulletin from a uh, place close to a class and put and then exchange it. And after that, our collection uh, box. Thank you for support our church. And brothers and sisters, remember in our prayer because what I mentioned like last Sunday and Sunday before also this prayer chain. Lots of people say thanks, especially people who not coming or not joining our masses, our weekend masses. They feel by this prayer. What was like at the beginning of this pandemic situation. What was like pray, uh, praying time between 3 and 4 p.m. because 3 p.m. is the divine mercy hour. And uh, that time, pray for each other. For people, especially who need our prayer, who need our help, they can feel that we are virtually together in this chain. And our extra high on earth, they pray for people who stay at home, who feel like alone, who need stronger faith who needs our assistance by spiritual connection. Pray for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O all you may have mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And receive blessing. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended, let us now go in peace. Thanks be to God.